Hello, this is Dave Ouellette of Vault Solutions, and I'm here to show you today Archive Accelerator, and in particular, its ability to restore items from Semantics Enterprise Vault into Office 365. So we're finding a lot of people today are uh, starting to migrate to Office 365 from on-premise exchange, and uh, with Office 365 is the ability to have an online uh, archive, and uh, so a lot of people are, are choosing that option, and um, taking and wanting to migrate their legacy archive data into uh, Office 365 online archives or, or to the main mailbox. So Archive Accelerator has been able to uh, restore data to people's mailboxes for a number of years now. Uh, it can actually be used to do a lot of things. Import data, we have a lot of people using it to import data from uh, other legacy uh, archives they're moving into enterprise vault uh, we can search on data in very unique ways and um, but we can also restore data to people's uh, mailboxes exchange 2010 2013 or office 365 or even google so in this case we're going to show you how this can be used to to move to office 365 so i'll start by showing you this uh the settings for the task so uh first going back here you see there's some tasks here the task that we'll be using today is the uh restore archive task and um, you can set a schedule for when you want this to run you might only want this to run an evening for example uh and then there's a a number of settings around uh its behavior so by default it'll run 10 workers at a time so each worker is processing one mailbox uh, you could set this up to uh, to do more than that 15 or or 30 for example now a lot of people in this next section here it talks about restore shortcuts so some people with enterprise vault they use shortcuts other people didn't use shortcuts we can work uh, whether you use them or not uh, this is a good solution in both cases so if you've got shortcuts sometimes people want to make sure that the item is restored to the location of the shortcut uh, and they also want to make sure that they only restore items for which they have shortcuts so that's this option here you enable shortcut restore basically what we'll do in this case is go through the mailbox or the online archive in office 365 looking for shortcuts take uh, the original item out of enterprise vault and replace the shortcut with the original item so you can also filter based on uh, date uh, there's an option here to move things to PST file, but in this case, we're going to Office 365. I know it says Exchange here, but this includes Office 365. Uh, you can have the option to skip the Deleted Items folder. Now, after the item, the shortcuts have been restored, you, you may want to also restore every, everything else that was in the archive and perhaps put it into uh, to another folder so it's, it's easy, you know, separated from the regular mail. Uh, so you do have this ability down here with a subfolder setting to tell it where you want to put these items. So I can say uh, archived uh, items and it will go in, they'll all go into uh, subdirectories underneath this archived items folder. This, uh, so you might only select this and not select the shortcut restore, in which case it'll just go through your uh, archived items and put them into the, the uh, new target mailbox. Uh, some other options around in here around uh, Google, um, if, you're, if you're migrating to Google, which we're not showing here today, you can also filter uh, on date range. So I've set these uh, settings now, and uh, so what I've said is I, I want to go ahead and replace the shortcuts, and, and I want to also move uh, er everything else that I find uh, into um, the target location. So now um, I can go ahead and, uh, well, first of all, I'll go ahead and start this. Uh, you can set this to automatically start when the, when the machine boots, and then this is always running, but running on a schedule. So now I go down to the targets area, and I'm going to select the target that I want to restore to. So um, now I've got a uh, I'm showing uh, things that are on premise here, and I'm also showing some things that are uh, in Office 365. So I'm going to filter this view and only show me the items that are moved to Office 365. This list is populated by going into Active Directory, going to Office 365, going into Enterprise Ball, and collecting information about uh, the mailboxes and archives that, that we find. In this case, I only want to move things off to the Office 365 uh, environment. So now I've got a, a smaller list of mailboxes that have been moved up there. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, right-click on this, uh, this mailbox and um, 
and ask to uh, to restore it. So I can just say restore now. And then this will just immediately start restoring these items. Uh, another uh, option is to tell it to select for restore, in which case it'll do the restore the next time I have the schedule set for the task to run, uh, which could be, for example, in the evening. So you could select, you know, um, hundreds of mailboxes to run or a thousand mailboxes to run that night and using the select for restore and you can set different priorities on some of these items so if i select, set a different priority then i, I can be, uh, say that i want certain people's message, mailboxes to be restored first maybe the vips for example now if i want to see what's going on i can click on this job list and um this will dynamically show you uh, what's happening. So this was just updated. It shows you that it's processing uh, this mailbox that I had asked it to uh, restore to. And um, the job status is uh, processing. And um, you can see that this is uh, what server this is running on. You can have Archive Accelerator running on multiple servers for a really large environment. Uh, you can have multiple Archive Accelerator servers and they will share the workload and this will just show you which server is actually doing the work here. The job source is just telling you that I manually started this job as opposed to running it on a, on a schedule. Um, and then, as I mentioned, this, this product can do a number of things. So this is just telling you that the task that we're doing here is this uh, restore task. So this should kick off pretty soon uh, as it goes through the mailbox and I'll show you on the client side here this is the mailbox and you can see these shortcuts start to disappear here this is the user's uh, inbox where he had some shortcuts and he also had some regular items those shortcuts have now been uh, replaced uh, by the original items and um, this is continuing to find more shortcuts in, in other folders and uh, replace those and then once it's done with the shortcuts, uh, which it looks like it just finished, it found 17 shortcuts. Uh, of course, this is a smaller mailbox for the demo purposes. Uh, then it will kick off the um, phase of restoring the rest of the items, the items that were in the user's uh, archive, but he didn't have shortcuts for them. So in this case, we actually fire off uh, multiple threads to do this per mailbox uh, and you can see each one of these is, is processed a number of items so if I go back over to the client on the left hand side you'll see that I've got um, a folder called archive items here so this is a folder we asked it to put the items in and uh, and it's created these subfolders so these are basically the subfolders that uh, people um, had their items in and it's going to uh, populate all these subfolders with, with the items and it actually creates these, these folders that goes along. You can also opt to some people, a lot of people in fact, uh, don't want them put into a subfolder. So what they'll do is they'll have all of these uh, folders like this, in this case, this level 00, zero folder and MSSQL folder would have been created at the uh, upper level, which is where they would have been in the first place. Um, and then other people want them uh, within a subfolder to make it easier to figure out which items were in the archive. So this is uh, continuing on now and processing those items. And if coming back to this uh, archive accelerator server, uh, you can see that it's um, it's moving along here. Now you also have some filtering capabilities here. So you can, uh, for example, take a look at uh, which items are processing uh, or you can uh, take a look and see which items uh, had errors and, um, and you know, that there may have been a problem with Enterprise Vault wasn't running or, or something like that. It couldn't, didn't have access to the archive. So there's uh, easy ways to figure out what's going on. There's, in fact, there's a, a, um, a report that shows you the uh, errored items and that is, uh, or failed items. And this is very handy for, um, trying to get to the bottom of why certain items weren't restored. It could have been Enterprise Vault wasn't available or the, there's a quota issue with the mailbox or uh, the, uh, the item was too large for the user's mailbox or something like that. So you'd be able to see a report here and, uh, and, and actually there'll be a, a list of these failed items here and a URL to click on. So you can see the original item in Enterprise Vault uh, and then uh, try to deal with the uh, errors that way. 
So as one of the report I want to show you, which is uh, basically a, um, a rate report that shows you um, the speed that it's processing. So uh, this is uh, for each minute the the hourly rate of restoring items. I, I'm only restoring one mailbox, so this isn't going to be a very large number. Uh, but you can be restoring a, a lot of mailboxes uh, at one time, and um, depending on your throughput, uh, you'll see um, you know the the hourly rate. And this is a good thing to to look at. Actually, you can. Uh, um, see this other graph that shows you per hour rather than per minute and this is a good thing to look at when you come in in the morning if you if you've been processing items overnight to see how it's progressed uh, through the night so that is um, our archive accelerator restore product and showing you how this can be used to restore items into office 365 thank you very much